Foresight initiates a huge project with a top global vehicle manufacturer. Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to talk about Foresight Autonomous and an overview of the company and the huge project they announced today. So getting into an overview of Foresight Autonomous, they are a technology-based company founded in 2015. They engage in the design, development, and commercialization of sensor systems for the electric vehicle and automotive markets. They develop their in-light-of-sight vision systems and their beyond-the-line-of-sight cellular-based applications, along with their quad-sight 4 camera system, which uses 3D video analysis to process images and identify potential threats on the road. The company's systems are designed to improve driving safety by enabling highly accurate and reliable threat detection while ensuring the lowest rates of false alerts, so kind of similar to a LiDAR company. Now, looking at Foresight's announcement today, they said that their wholly owned subsidiary, iNet Mobile, will begin a pilot project with the Intelligent Transportation System division of a multi-billion dollar global Japanese vehicle manufacturer in order to test its iNet Protect cellular-based V2X accident prevention solution. This will validate and evaluate their software to see if they can integrate into the vehicle manufacturer's smart city project. What's promising about this is that it's their third project for the iNet Mobile in Japan after having partnered with two other tech companies in mid-2020. The CEO of iNet Mobile said, This first pilot with a top global vehicle manufacturer opens a new market for iNet Mobile and demonstrates a need in the automotive industry for a readily available software-based solution that provides real-time pre-collision alerts and enhances the safety of drivers and other vulnerable road users. Now, the hype today in the stock did come from this report, but also because currently from January 12th to the 14th, they announced they will exhibit digitally some of their products at the CES 2021 virtual event. So there is more exposure and hype from that as well. So it'll be interesting how investors react over the next few days and weeks, but it has been a pretty positive catalyst so far, considering the stock is up 70 plus percent today on this news and the fact that they are showing their products at this digital event. Drop a like guys and let's head into the stock chart. Now heading into the stock chart of Foresight Autonomous, we do see it's been on a pretty big uptrend since the beginning of December. That's when I noticed many YouTubers were starting to talk about Foresight Autonomous. And of course, we did have a lot of the hype at around this time when Apple did announce they were going into the uh, electric vehicle market as well. We do know that a lot of electric vehicle stocks are demanding new LiDAR systems and kind of Foresight Autonomous technology. So that is a very big catalyst that has been driving up the stock as well. So it's great that it is uptrending right now, but we have to take it with a grain of salt because a lot of the EV market and LiDAR market is kind of overextended and that can translate to a huge market sell-off if we did see investors lose confidence in these sectors. Now, what we are looking at on Foresight's chart is that they has been able to keep the 20 exponential daily moving average as support, right? We used it as support over here on this level, bounced beautifully, and ever since we have been using it as a strong level of support, again, even on this bounce that we did see today. So if we do take a flagpole extrapolation to kind of check a move where it can trend in the near future, well, we look over here, right? This was a move from the $1 mark to kind of the 6.77 mark, and logarithmically speaking, if we do take this and put it down to this level over here where we did see the breakout, we can trend to around the $9 mark, maybe even higher. And that does correspond, guys, with this nice resistance level that I'm about to show you guys on the weekly chart. So heading into the weekly chart, we do see that this level over here did act as a huge level of resistance. And when we did have this huge uptrend recently in the stock, we got rejected by this level, consolidated for a few weeks, and continued our uptrend. So that could have been a region we were looking at for a potential rejection point to take profit off of this huge move. Now the second level that we are going to be looking at for a potential take profit zone is at around the $9 mark to potentially the high of this box at around the $10 region. That can be a level where investors do want to take profit if they do think that the stock is going to downtrend in the short term because it is overextended. So I think that's a key level to look at right now if we do keep on uptrending right. If we do start closing in this area it can be more bullish and the stock is looking more bullish currently but again we have had a pullback from the intraday high at around the $7.90 mark. So keep an eye out for these regions, guys. If we do start closing or even consolidating in this box, that can be a bullish catalyst to send the stock much higher in the near future. And especially if more people get this stock on their radar, this can be an interesting cheap ladder company to get into before potential market hype does come in and raises the stock higher. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are buying into the stock, where you bought in, and what your future outlook is for the company. Like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.